Hey, who wants pie? I do, I do. Hey guys, it's Carolyn from All Day I Dream About Food, and today we are making the easiest and the best keto pie crust. This easy almond flour pie crust has been on my blog for several years, and it is the basis of some of my most popular recipes, including the sour cream lemon pie, and a couple that are very popular around the holidays, the pumpkin cream pie and my pecan pie. It also is featured a few times in my new cookbook, The Ultimate Guide to Keto Baking. If you love to bake, this is the book for you. One thing I love about this pie crust is that it can be either sweet or savory. You can actually use it for quiche or savory tarts of any kind. It can also be used for baked pies like a pecan pie, or you can bake it fully and then fill it afterwards like a cream pie. Today I'm making the fully baked version and I'm actually gonna put it away for a few days for a pie I'm making this weekend. Okay, let me show you how easy this is. We are starting with one and a half cups of finely ground almond flour. Now I know people are gonna ask me what else they can use. Coconut flour doesn't work here, sorry guys. You could use another nut flour or even a seed flour like sunflower seed. Just know that it'll come out a different color. Okay, so we're putting our almond flour in and we are adding a quarter cup of swerve sweetener. You can use the powdered or the granular. Today I'm using the granular. If you want a savory pie, you're gonna skip the sweetener and then you're going to put in a little bit of garlic powder. I recommend about quarter teaspoon to half a teaspoon. But for our sweet version, we're gonna add the sweetener and then it takes about a quarter teaspoon salt. I never measure salt out properly so I'm just doing this right into my hand. So we're just gonna stir together our dry ingredients and break up any clumps as we go. And then we're going to add a quarter cup of melted butter. I always like to work these things in with a rubber spatula, working those wet ingredients right into the dry ingredients until it's well mixed. And once your mixture looks nice and uniform, we're going to put it into our pie plate. Now, I highly recommend glass or ceramic pie plates for this recipe as metal can tend to heat everything up too much and your crust will brown too quickly. I also find that I don't really need to grease my pan when I'm using glass or ceramic. The almond flour and the butter together have enough grease to keep the, the pie crust from sticking. If you want the extra precaution of greasing it, it's totally fine. It'll work out just as well. So I just put all of the mixture in there and then I just even it out with my fingers and I start pressing it into the bottom and up the sides of the pan. You're trying to do this as evenly as possible. So if you have too much on one side, you just steal a little from that and take it over to the other side. And if you happen to have a deep dish pie plate like this one, you're not gonna wanna take the sides all the way to the top. It'll make the crust too thin. I usually do it to about half an inch from the top. So once you have it nice and evenly pushed in, I have a couple tricks for you to get your pie crust to look its best. The first is to take something with a flat bottom, like a flat bottomed measuring cup or glass, and to really press into the bottom and even out the pie crust on the bottom. Then to make it look more like a traditional pie crust, I like to pinch the edges between my fingers to crimp it nice and decoratively. Finally, you're gonna take a fork and you're going to prick some holes in the bottom of the crust. This helps it not bubble up while it's baking and push up. Now your keto pie crust is ready for the oven. If you're doing a baked pie, you're going to want to par bake the crust first. You're gonna put it in a 325 oven for about 10 minutes. Just as it's starting to get golden around the edges, just barely, you're gonna take it out and let it cool. This firms it up for your filling. Since I'm doing a fully baked crust, I'm putting mine in for 20 minutes. Okay, keto people, I have just taken my pie crust out of the oven. It smells delicious. You can see it's beautiful and brown around the outsides. And it's a fully baked crust, so now all I need to do is let it cool. If you need ideas on how to use this pie crust, check out alldayidreamaboutfood.com for some great keto pie recipes, or grab yourself a copy of The Ultimate Guide to Keto Baking for even more great keto pie recipes. Mm -hmm.